Hello friends, today we are into this video to look how to sew a pleated body blouse. So first we will start with the pleat making process. Before making pleat I here use fusible micro dot canvas on my bad side of the fabric. I iron them well so that I get some stiffness in the fabric to do my pleats. After fusing them onto the fabric, I here draw diagonal lines as much as I needed to convert them into pleats that fits the size of my front body pattern. I draw them all at one inch gap. Yes, we have done with drawing lines, so now I'm going to start making pleats. Making pleats for about one inch, fold them and iron well upon the pleats. Repeat the same on all the pleats. Once you are done with it, we will stitch on those pleats. Just do as I do. So repeat it on all the pleats. So here I made it ready and we are going to trace out the pleated front body. In tracing out the half pattern first and then flipping it the other side I trace it too. Then provide a seam allowance of 0.50 inches at the neck, shoulder, armhole, bottom. and one inch at the side.
then cut it down along the seam line. So now we have got our front pleated body, and next we are going to trace out the princess cut front body for the inner lining. First I trace out the center front portion, have the fabric at fold and place the center front at fold. Then trace out the pattern. Mark the notch and provide a seam allowance of 0.50 inches all around. and cut it down along the seam line. Next, I'm going to trace out the cup portion. Have the fabric at fold and trace out the pattern so that you get two pieces of cup for both the sides. Trace it out and make sure you mark the notch at the princess curve too. Then I provide a seam allowance of 0.50 inches along the princess curve, armhole and at the bottom. And one inch at the side. So now we will cut it down along the seam line. And yes, we have got our parts for the inner lining. Next, we will trace out the back body pattern, have the fabric at fold, Place the pattern, have the center back little away from the fold, and that becomes the seam allowance at the center back. Trace out the pattern and provide seam allowance of 0.50 inches at the neck, shoulder, armhole. And one inch at the side. Pin it up and cut down the pattern along the seam line. and your back body pattern is also ready. We will then trace out the collar. Take two pieces of cloth, have them at fold, and here I trace out the both the front and the back portion together. So trace them as I do. and provide seam allowance of 0.50 inches all around.
and cut them down. So here we have got our collar portion ready. Then the sleeves. Had the fabric at fold to get two pieces of sleeves for both sides. I here have the pattern on the fabric and provide seam allowance. I pin them up and cut it down along the seam line provided. And so the sleeve pattern is also ready. Then the cuff of the sleeve, having two pieces of fabric. I here place the pattern, mark seam allowance as I need it. and trim out the extra fabric. Cuff portion is also ready. And finally to the waistband. Have the fabric at fold and trace it out, since we are going to have it as full round. Place the pattern and provide seam allowance of 0.50 inches all around. Then cut them off along the seam line. So this is the waist pattern. We are done with the fabric cutting and we will move on to stitching. First we will stitch the front parts together. We will join them along the princess curve. I here provide double stitches to ensure safety. Repeat the same on the other side.
And yes, the inner lining for the front is ready. We will now iron them well along the princess seam. Press well upon the princess seam on the inner side. Look, both the main fabric and the inner lining is ready. We will next move on to back body. I'm going to now stitch these darts at the back body. Stitch all the darts at the inner lining and the main fabric. Then iron them well upon the darts. And yes, your back body is too ready. We will move to the collar next. Have the good sides of the both the pieces together. Then stitch them together at the inner circle and at the edges. We will then make cuts at the edges along the curve. Then invert it inside out and iron them well. And thus the collar is also ready. Next we will join the bodice together at the shoulders. Have the good sides of both the bodice together. Then sew them at the shoulders on both the sides. Now repeat the same on the main fabric too. Have the good sides together and sew them at the shoulders. And next we will attach the collar to the neck. Have it along the neck and sew them up together. Once you are done, then place the inner lining upon and sew it along the neck.
Stitch them together, then make cuts along the curve. and then flip them out and iron them well at the neck. And the collar attachment is done. So next we will make our cuff and waistband ready. We are going to have it for about one inch. So now we will fold them and provide stitch one inch away from the fold. Then I'm going to use one inch width elastic. I here use safety pins to hold the elastic the whole way into the band. Put in the elastic from one end and make a stitch there. Pass it through and make a lock stitch on the other end. So this is how I made the cuffs and waistband ready. So next we will attach the cuff to the sleeve. Have both the ends together and stitch it at the seam allowance. Repeat the same on the other sleeve. And here I have already made my other sleeve ready. So we will next attach the sleeves to the body. Place the sleeve curved together with the armhole curve and stitch them from one end to the other. Repeat the same on the other side. I have already attached the sleeve on the other side, so next we will close the side seams. Stitch them up together on both sides along the seam line.
Once when it's done, we will attach the waistband to the body. Have them together at the end and stitch them at the seam allowance. Yes, it's done and finally we have to provide plackets to finish off the scepter back. Take a cut piece of 4 inches width. Fold them inside out and make a stitch at one end. Then make a stitch at the other end according to the center back length. and flip them out. Now stitch them up together at the inner side. Then flip it outwards and make V-stitches at regular gap. For the other side I here take a cut piece of 2 inches. Stitch them up together on the good side. Then flip it inwards, make a double fold and stitch them up. So finally the product is ready. And this is the final outlook of the product. Then this is the inner lining with the princess cut. And that's the pleated body blouse. Thank you.